Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to make a super fun fidget in the traditional design area. Click Create and choose New 3D Design. Of course, step one is to name it. We're going to call this Gyro Fidget. And it's not a bad idea to put your initials after it in case you 3D print it. Now we're going to build this with an awesome shape called the tube. When you bring it out, make sure you do not touch the handles. We are only going to type. Now we're going to keep the radius of 10. We're going to change the wall thickness to 3. We're going to make the sides 64, which is the max. We're going to set the bevel to 1 and the segments to 5 and press enter. And we're going to change the height of it to 4. Just like that, we have got ring number one. Now select that and do control D. On the second one, I want you to just change the radius. It is going to be 15 and everything else stays the same. Just like that, you've got two rings. Click on that ring and do control D. And this one is going to have a radius of 20. Now there were two there. It does not matter which one you clicked on, they'll work absolutely the same because they spread out just like that the next part we're going to build with is a standard cylinder when you bring it out i want you to hold down shift stretch it to any number but then in the box type 4 and press enter when we zoom in we're going to put a cone on top of that because of cruising you can set it right on top of it now this one we are going to just type the parameters we're going to use a base radius of 2 and we're going to use a top radius of 0.3 and we're going to type a height of 3 and press enter let's also take the sides and max those out clicking on both of them so that they're super smooth Select the two of them, press L for a line, click on the orange one to make it the boss, and center, and center, and then finally group them. I'm going to make this a different color just so it shows up, and then we need to rotate it 90 degrees. I like to do this from a corner, and if you hold down shift, it goes 45 degrees at a time, which makes that super simple. Now we also need to cut in holes. We're going to do that with a cone as well. This one we're going to just set down and up here instead of 0.3, it's going to be 0.35. We're also going to take the base radius and we're going to make it 2 again. And then the height is still going to be 3 and press enter. This has to be a hole. Same thing with the sides maxed look at it from a corner and let's stand it up just like we did a moment ago 90 degrees bingo that is ready to make the holes for our spinner friends it is time to line this up and we're going to do it with the ruler make sure you click right in the middle just like that with the ruler enabled click on the hole we know that this is for a cross so from the center, this number, no matter what yours is, needs to be negative 2. And boom, it will be exactly in the middle of our rings. Now we need to move it to this spot right here. So we're just going to change the distance. Right here is 10. Let's try 13. That's a little bit further. We want it to poke out the back side. So right now it is 13 plus 3, which really was 16. I'm going to take away 3 and type 10, and now we're on the right side of this. Now we want it to almost be to the edge, so let's try 11. That's pretty close, but we're going to try 11.5, and that is exactly where we want it. Now we want that exact same thing over here. Friends, watch this. I have just clicked the ruler, so it's going up and to the right. If I take this piece and do control D, I'm going to shift nudge to get it partially over to that side and use the mirror tool to aim it the right way. Now if we click on it, you can see it is currently 5 plus 3. If we change this to the exact same 11.5, it is lined up exactly right, just like that. And it's because we were able to rotate the ruler. Make sure you keep track of how these rotations work. 
if we just click this middle, it keeps rotating around until it's finally back the way it was. These blue lines show you that right now this is underneath and now it's back up to the top. Now we're gonna take these exact same pieces and we're gonna put them up top as well. Do shift select to grab the two of them. Do control D and let's rotate them 90 degrees. Now we need to move them out to the correct distance. You can see right here, it's measuring up and it says 11.5 plus three. Let's try 20. That's way too far. Let's try 17. That's getting close. Let's try 16. That's nice, but obviously we need to do 16.5 to get it perfect. Bingo, that one is lined up. Now we can click on this one and we need to rotate the ruler first. So we're gonna go rotate. Note from this rotation, we get the total instead of the one where it's added on. Rotate, see now how it has the 1150 plus three. And we're gonna type in that same 16.5 and press enter. And those are now lined up exact same on both sides. How cool is that? Now let's do a smart way to put in our other pegs. Dismiss the ruler, and we're gonna do Control D, do a couple nudges, and we're gonna flip it. And then we're gonna do Control D, do Shift Nudge, and we're gonna rotate those 90 degrees. So we have got the pegs for each spot. This peg goes right here, Shift Select, choose a line, make that one the boss, and we want it to the center, and we'll go to the front. If we look at it from the side, we can take it to the bottom, and we'll leave it just like that for a moment. Let's put this one right here. Once again, shift, select, L for a line. That one's the boss, center, front, and bottom or middle. It really doesn't matter. We'll fix that in a minute. This one goes right here, so shift, select, L for a line, that one's the boss, bingo, to the front, and I'm not even going to worry about the height on that one, I'll show you why in a second, shift, select, shift, select, L for a line, make that one the boss, center, front edge. Now let me show you why we did not care about the heights. We're gonna grab all of these, do L for a line, make the orange one the boss, and we want them all to be in the middle. That's gonna be perfect for making them spin. At this point, switch to a .25 nudge. Click on that and go one click to the left, two clicks to the left. Click on this one, two clicks to the right. Click on this one, two clicks back towards you. Click on the purple one, two clicks to the middle. We need to lock all these purple ones. I'm gonna do shift lock. I'll do two at a time just cause it's pretty easy. There's my padlock. Make sure I've got purple and purple and I'm gonna padlock those. At this point when we group everything, control G, it cuts the holes in and leaves the purple ones just like that. You can see it even better if you click on the orange and do T for transparent. Check it out. Those are going to print absolutely perfect. And when you're done, they'll be able to spin. Friends, I've got one more bonus for you now that this is built. I'm going to shut off the transparency. I'm going to unlock all of these. Notice if you shift select them, you can do it with one click. Grab the entire project, do control D and shift nudge to move it to the left. So we've got our original. Let's do the letter N and put a note right here just so we can keep track. And then over here, I'm going to show you how to fill one in. Friends, it's so slick. Bring out a cylinder, max out its sides, set its bevel to one, set the segments to 10, and set your height to four and press enter. If we move this inside, you'll see it is the exact size as our other one. So if we shift select, we can do L for a line, make the outside one the boss, middle, middle, and bingo, you've got a spot where you can put your initials. I'm gonna do that with the simple text. Set it right on top, 
My initials are MDH. I'm going to make it a hole. And then we need to shift squeeze to get it so it fits. Remember this whole thing was about 20. So I'm going to make it 15 or so. Once again, shift select. L for a line. And I want to make this the boss. Notice I lost my selection. Let's do that again. L for a line. Middle. Middle. And then I need to take this and I need to sink it in. I'm going to change this to 0.5 and do control down once, twice. And we are ready to group and export our custom gyro fidget. You may simply do that by clicking export the selected shape STL. And I always save mine in my 3D modeling folder save changes and then to wrap up this project i always like to set the project background color to something cooler and then shut off the grid close the settings because i think that looks a lot niftier in a screenshot i'm also going to click on this and re-enable the multi-color because i think it highlights the spinner better finally friends if you want to show off what you made don't forget click on the Tinkercad dashboard. Click right up here in the properties. Make sure you've got a name. Of course, in my description, you'll see the tutorials coming soon. Also, ways you can reach me. Make sure you give it tags. And of course, if you add the tag HLMT23, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public, and then I always set attribution to no derivatives because I want you to come up here, follow the tutorial, and gain some epic skills. When you're done with that, save changes. Of course, when you're done, you can always click on the gallery, check out the staff picks, and then shut them off to see the amazing designs people have created. Once again, I love to click this one so I can see more designs at once. Whenever you see something epic, make sure you click on it and give it a reaction. So many designs in here to check out. That is absolutely awesome. Check it out, we even have Slender Piggy. That is so epic. Before we wrap up, don't forget you can also sneak out to my website and hit this button to check out the new HLMT23 shares. Today we've got a sweet Eagle F-50 by Dragonhead and a couple epic aircraft from Tutuno. Friends, don't forget if you click that link, you can give all these people reactions as well. And here we are, friends, 22 minutes later. As you can see, printed on the Sobol SV06. How about those initials? And there it goes, spinning in the middle as well. Once again, the more you play with these, the better they spin. And if I can hold it right, check it out. How cool is that? Friends, I want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you will find my day one favorites, useful starters, and then also Tinkercad essentials. Friends, I do also want to mention the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to take a moment to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.